Hey YouTube, Michael, I'm back. I know it's been a while since my last video. It's kind of windy out today, so you'll have to forgive me um, if, you get, if there's a lot of wind noise. Um, but I wanted to kind of, I wanted to make a video, something I did today. I've been meaning to do it for a long time. Uh, it was something I could do quick. I didn't have a whole lot of time today, but I wanted to go ahead and, and get it knocked out. So uh, today on the Silver Focus, I have peel coated black the chrome grill on there and I'm about to show you uh, what it kind of came out it looks I like it's really good right now it's it's kind of sitting in the sun and drying a little bit uh, give it gave it about given about 20 minutes for I can uh, uh, take the rest of the tape off and install back on the car just to kind of see what it looks like and I'll give you the final on this but while it was drying I wanted to go ahead and start making this start starting this video um, but uh, so I hope you guys like it as much as I do um, this, and if it ends up that I actually really really do like this uh, the way it looks uh, when the peel coat starts if the peel coat starts coming off I may see what I can do about just uh, going ahead and painting it permanently black so but it looks really good uh, sitting by itself uh, I think I got a pretty good even coat it's the first time I've used any type of Plasti Dip or Peel Coat. I didn't use Plasti Dip, quote unquote. I use a uh, Rust-Oleum uh, Peel Coat, uh, this stuff, which uh, I didn't see any, it works just like spray paint to me, so. Um, but let me go ahead and uh, switch over and I'll sh show you what it looks like uh, right now, okay? Okay, this is this is the grill. I'll try to, try to stay, uh, I don't know if you can see it, I don't wanna get in, get in the way but it looks really really good I took the grill off and this is tape uh, this is the tape is taped uh, that dark spot underneath it but uh, the chrome part was this upper part and of course the uh, the emblem there and the top and the bottom and in between um, and everything I taped off the top of it just so I didn't I didn't want to coat cover the sticker which turns out my quick release tape uh, peeled that up so I'll have to get figure something else out with that but um, it looks pretty good there's some couple of spots I don't know what happened that looks like a hair got in that got it good enough to I thought that was something in the in the chrome underneath I didn't realize that that was something I'll have to see if I can't touch that up uh, peel that off and touch it up so hold on okay now I'm videoing instead of just taking a picture uh, I did kind of get it out a little bit. You can kind of see it looks it's kind of still looks a little tacky, but it looks a, it looks actually looks really dry to me. Um, but it turns out really like really really clean. There is a little imperfection in the chrome right there, and that's from actually the chrome the clad cover that they peel on those grills. Oh, it's starting to peel up. Of course, this car is what over ten years old, so. And this is the, it's the original grill, so. Um, but if this looks good, like I said, if it looks like the way it looks on the car, I probably go, am going to end up just uh, getting some body uh, trim and bumper paint and uh, just go ahead and finishing out painting it black. Uh, this is just something small, short I could do, like I said, that I had, didn't have a lot of time today. Um, and it'll be able to... Uh, hopefully it'll be pretty durable because it is on the front of the car. I'm not sure how durable that is. I put, oh gosh, I don't know, four or five coats on, on here, maybe more, just because it was going to be that um, on the front of the car, just to kind of get make it a little chip, more chip resistant to bugs and stuff like that. But we'll see what happens. So uh, next I'll show you what it looks like on the car. All right, hold on just a second. All right, it's dry. I got it on the car. I think it looks really good. Um, there's some couple of things that I want to do to make it look better. Uh, for one, the plastic underneath uh, where the I peel coated it uh, could use a little restoration. Um, it's just faded from uh, its age and being out in the elements and stuff. So I could, I would love for it to be darker. And also, I, if you notice on the hood, I have a. Uh, 
a bug guard that's stuck on the it's it's one of those stick on things um it doesn't go it doesn't lip over underneath the hood so you can kind of see the silver paint up underneath the lip of it up underneath that um you can there's some rock chips and stuff underneath that that i want to get rid of and i want to kind of coat that with something so it'll make it get, look a little bit more flush a little bit more black so uh without any more uh further ado i want to show you show it to you um just so you guys can kind of see and i hope that you guys agree uh if it looks good that it looks good um if not um just give me some tips and what do you think would look better um again this is my first time using uh, any kind of peel coat or plastic dip or anything like that um i use the rosoleum uh peel coat um i it was available to me at uh, my local walmart here and so i just used it um for the most part so i'm gonna i had to pull move the car to put it in the sun because the my fence was throwing a shadow over it so it didn't look real good so i, I moved the car so you guys can take a look tell me what you think hold on all right there it is uh i think it looks awesome um the uh again this we're not a finished product here and i told you the grill up underneath like right here i want to make it darker i want to paint it it looks a little sun faded and as well as these down here underneath the license plate the that i want to get that uh make that a little darker too um and that would be look really sweet because these the the fog lamp housings are black if i get it black and paint those uprights right there uh and the whole inside right there black i think that would look really sharp and i was thinking about getting something and doing the paint uh maybe peel coating this front bumper or something because it's got some paint chips and stuff and just bugs just years of bug guts have just kind of disintegrated that front bumper cover a little bit so I, well i was in the middle of my video when i got a notification and it turned off my video so uh we're back i, I was kind of talking about the bumper cover uh when i left and just something just to kind of i get the tools so i get some sandpaper and sand that down and either uh just um, polish it up to make it look nice or i thought about peel coating it uh, maybe blacking out the entire front end um, make it look like maybe uh, uh, maybe like uh, you know the old the bras that they used to have that covered the whole front end but not like you know people don't like those I'm, and then because of dirt and stuff get put underneath those and it costs more damage than it does good and so I'm not going to do one of those but if I painted it that would probably look better and of course those headlights are horrible if anybody has any extra headlights that they want to sell me or send to me pretty cheap i could that are better condition than mine uh or i mean just uh e email me or let me a comments and i'll uh, i'll get back with you because i'm looking for something better than that i would like to black out the headlights but everything is right now is just out of my price range so but that's the grill it looks good let's get a little closer you can kind of see Again, it's not perfect, and again, there's that spot right there that uh, it's got that chrome is peeling up on it. But it looks really good. I like the way that the Ford logo, it's kind of 3D-ish, I guess. I don't know, embossed. I don't know what the right term is, but it looks really, really good and clean. So I think it looks awesome. And a lot of people, you'll see a lot of videos of people doing these on the car. Um, and that's fine. I know, I know uh, removing grills can be a little, depending on the vehicle, can be a little bit, uh, I don't know, tedious. Uh, but these just undo four clips. Mine, you just undo four clips and, uh, and just pop it off. It's got this little clips and it pops on and off. So it's real easy. I'd rather do it off the car than on the car if I can help it. So, but that's it. Let me know what you think about it. Uh, in the comments below if you like it great uh, if you have some I'm always again I'm always open to suggestions if you have any suggestions or ideas that would help improve the looks of my car I would uh, and I'm open to try a little bit just about anything so uh, I am going to do the skull caps too on the mirrors I think those would look really great uh, blacked out I'm trying to go for I'm trying to black it out but I don't I'm just doing it a step at a time uh, so all right guys well I appreciate appreciate all the views and the comments and the likes don't forget to like the video 
Um, and if you like this type of stuff on this type, maybe you have this type of car, um, just subscribe to me and we'll, uh, we can exchange ideas and I can show you what I'm doing, uh, in my videos. So I hope you like this. All right. That's all I got today. You guys have a great day. God bless.